Botch Podcast is proudly part of the amazing Giant Size Team Up Network, but don't just take my word for it. Hey, Chewy, what do you think of the Giant Size Team Up Network? <laughs> well, yeah, I know he name drops a lot, but he runs the network. He can't say that. What about the Pokemon Go podcast? <laughs> you can't, you can't say that about Mormons, Chewy. What do you think of the Blazing Defender report? <laughs> well, yes, you could call him Reek, but no, I don't think all other firemen are gay. What what does that have to do with anything? That that's just anti-Semitic. <laughs> you also can't talk about their mothers like that. <laughs> Look, I'm not about to take this shit from you, Chewy. <laughs> oh yeah, what? You're gonna rip my fucking arms off like I've never heard that before. <laughs> GiantSizeTeamUp.com. This is the rock god of pee podcasting here to tell you that not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons and fuck everything that walks. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands and every freaking orifice that they come across. Gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previously on Beach, the party was forced to watch a scene of Roots flinging a monster. We were told about all the colors of the crystals. We met with the ant advisor who told us where the colored crystals were awesome. And we decided to go towards Tan. All right, welcome back to Botched. This is our 50th episode overall. Yay! Yay! So thanks everybody for tuning in this long. Uh, check us out next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See you next time, kids. We're gonna start off roughly in the same spot we left off, where they were kind of resting before their journey. Uh, each of them had a strange dream. So um, Brock and Dash will both had the same dream, and so did Matthew. No, no, no he didn't. different one. Just kidding. <laughs> yep. So Brock and Dash will have a different dream, and their dream, they're sort of in a back alley. With their backs up against the wall, and there's like a crowd of angry people coming. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All over their faces. No. <laughs> it's a bukkake. The it's... worst, the worst yeah. bukkake you've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. Challenge accepted. 50 episodes, and we just <laughs> haven't changed a bit. <laughs> nope. So, as you're in this alley, and they're approaching towards you, you sort of imagine someone coming to your rescue, and all of a sudden, this almost Goliath type person materializes in front of you and whatever you think that's what it does and it scares off the townsfolk and then as soon as they're gone you sort of sigh a re- like a, a breath of relief and it, it dissipates kind of like an illusion yes we so created an illusion you can create a longer lasting and interactive illusion uh, who can do this both of us both Dasho and Brock oh great were they in the dream together like when they wake up they were no. like oh shit they Holding- just happen to have the same dream we were, we were spooning. Yes. Wake, wake up holding hands. <laughs> holding hands, Weird. arm raised up in the air, going, Yeah! yeah! Oh, good morning. That's weird. <laughs> uh, Dirk, you had a dream where you can <laughs> you can point, and when you point, a little beam of light shoots from your finger, but the thing that you hit irradiates light, but it does so like painfully. Like It's like a... Um, Harmful type of, or like, a radiation. It's like nuclear radiation. Yeah. So, you can make it light up, but it also deals damage to it immediately and then damage over time. So, you point your finger in the dream at this, looks like some sort of shadowy creature. You're, in, like, in a dark wood, can't see anything. You point at this creature. It lights up so you can see it easily, but then it looks like it's almost burning. You can see, like, little tufts of smoke coming off of it, and it's making, like, a flesh on a pan kind of noises that sort of thing mm. and then eventually it just fall it runs towards you but falls over master and dies. Pan? no not master pan mm. and then finally we have matthew you have a dream where you are running away from a group of angry villagers and you sort of look back and all of a sudden a wall materializes behind you 
and then the townsfolk sort of run up towards it and they get confused and then they just run a different direction and then it dissipates quickly. So you can create minor illusions that aren't interactive or anything like that, but they, they don't last very long. How long does our illusion last? Uh, your illusion can last up to 30 seconds, which is what, five rounds? Yeah. Yep, so you can you can have an illusion last for five rounds. But it's interactive. Yes, so it can talk. Like, it whatever you're thinking, it, it <laughs> like, if you're thinking about saying something, it can say that. And what's the, what's the cooldown on that? Short rest in between uses. Same thing for, for you, Matthew. Yours only lasts uh, six seconds. Uh, what's so one my round. radius and damage for my light? Uh, your distance can be 80 feet, and the damage is 1d8 and then 1d4 ongoing, unless it passes a save. And it glows, obviously. It doesn't have it to glows? be. glows? Glows. Yeah. It's got the glow. And then anything you're pointing at also lights up, so it's like a whatever you want to... If you do it to an object, it'll also damage the object, but it'll also light up, so... Okay. Yeah. And what's the frequency? Uh, you can do that once an encounter. If you don't have any fights, then I guess once an hour. You guys all wake up from your dreams. <laughs> and at the... You guys were kind of staying in, um... Not a hovel, but just like a little lo living area kind of thing. With guards posted out front in case, you know, somebody tries to do something. Not a, you guys, but if someone tries to do something to you. Where's the little gnome girl? <laughs> what do you mean, Where? What happened to her? I think Dirk would wake up first. Sure. Before everyone else. Probably. Yeah. Okay. So you could sneak off and try and find her if you want. She's not going to just come into your room. Yeah. I walk up to, I guess there's a door? There's a fern. It's... Remember there's a fern? In the... <laughs> it's, uh, it's more just like a flap. Okay. I walk up to the <laughs> flap. Yeah. And announce that I have to piss. <laughs> okay. They're like, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. All right. We're just here just in case. Okay. So, There's no crime in this town. No, there isn't, but you guys are fighting like supernatural forces. Who knows what's going to happen? This better not be like a spinoff of the show Supernatural. <laughs> no. I'd be so angry. And then you find an Impala. The cows have changed into an Impala, and it's time for a Broman. So. Do you want to put uh, <laughs> a black I roll initiative Impala. against everything? <laughs> I'm just going to punch you, Dennis. <laughs> You'll have, the darkness is attacking. You have silver pistols. They have silver rounds. That's fine. I'm going uh, to no, I kill, kill, I the kill myself. The pistols are silver. The rounds are normal. <laughs> kill myself. Sometimes. Yeah, I kill myself. <laughs> you want to caption that as Super Bowl? Question mark. Can I smoke that? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, so I, you're, I went to quote unquote leaving. take a piss. Sure. Where would you like to go? Just some back alley. I announced it loud enough that I think that I she would hear me and I, find a discreet location. She, okay, okay, so let me, you don't know where she is. Yeah. So her just finding a discreet location doesn't mean that you know where she is to go to that. So why don't no, you fair. go to a discreet location yeah, and she'll find you. That's what I said. That's not what you said. You I said, said I she'll find a discreet location. Oh, well, my mistake. Yeah, she will, with him in it. <laughs> well, okay. <yeah. laughs> if I remember correctly, you told her to always be watching. Yeah. yeah. So if he went outside to say, I'm going to take a piss... She would be an earshot because she's yes. supposed to be always watching. Yeah. But I don't think he wants to meet her out in the middle of the street. Why not? You said that. <laughs> if everybody's sleeping, then... Except for the girls. The ants aren't sleeping. Yeah, ants don't sleep. Also, what do you mean by alley and street? Yeah. These are tunnels. I don't understand It's one big tunnel, but it's, it's sort of like a city landscape. I said that when you guys went in. No, you didn't. There's buildings and mounds and things like that. It's the space between... No, Mound building things. I don't, I don't believe that. It's an alley. Tunnels? It's not a tunnel. It's one big it's ass tunnel. All tunnel. How, how ants work. Like no, it's, it's a big ass tunnel. It's a big open cavern that has tunnels like going out, but where they're currently located. Razor fin downs? Kinda. Yeah, a little bit like that. If anyone else has any idea what that is. Yeah. I'm I'm envis envisioning the uh the Puebla cities. Okay. Sure. Where are you going? You just want her to talk to you in the middle of the street? That's fine. I'm wandering into a quote-unquote alley. Sure. You've already done this once, and you had yeah. no questions about it. But the second time around, you're like, wait a second, this city structure. It's because I didn't have any say in it the first time. It was all Dennis. What are you talking about? It was the Dennis show. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> so you go into this whatever area. 50 episodes. Yep. The Dennis show. <laughs> 
just kick all of you off it, and I just try and do as many different versions of the Queen voice. I'm Jessel Valentine. I mean, nobody listens to the show, so technically, yeah. Yeah, no, no, we difference. have no idea. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you go there. Yep. And you're just standing there, taking a piss. Yeah, taking a piss. Are you pissing on anything? You're just in the middle of the open They're area. On the wall. Okay. I'm not gonna piss in the middle of. Perception alley. check. That's barbaric. Eight. Yeah, no, you don't see anything. Okay. But all of a sudden, when you're pissing on the wall, this little gnome girl pops off it, and she's like, what the fuck? You're pissing on me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to piss and on She's face. She's just got, like, Plus yellow paint. It. Well, not yellow paint, like brown <clears throat> paint all over her. Okay. Oh. And she's holding, like, trash cans, like, <laughs> pieces of trash can that makes it look like she blends into the, <laughs> through the area. It doesn't really have trash cans. I'm not going to say that, because I'm sure you guys have. Whatever. But R. Kelly's there for some reason watching. He's videotaping yeah. from the closet with yeah. sunglasses on. Sense. I'm not coming out the closet, <laughs> so you can just go away. And I pull out my gun! <laughs> so yeah, so, she's, so she says, what? Report. Would, you, you've been with him almost the entire time. Other, yeah, no, literally you've been with him the entire time. Yeah. The only time you weren't with him is when he decided he wanted to try and race. And and ended up snapping the legs of the ant. Well, I can't pay attention to him all the time. Okay. She just says that's the only thing that happened that you don't know about. How do you know? Because literally you two have been together the rest of the time. Maybe I was blackout drunk the entire time. Well, then you're dumb. No, that was two episodes ago. That's not what you were hired for. <laughs> you told me to tell you when he's do- what he's doing. You already know what he's doing. But what if I don't? That's not my problem. <laughs> it's really not my problem. <laughs> what your mental acuity is. I mean, for someone who's getting paid to do nothing, you're really angry. 15 gold! <laughs> a day? Not, you're not even no, there, man. it was just 15 gold flat is what he paid. And then there was something on the back and end. Then... He said something about the back end. It doesn't mean he is going to pay him on the back end. A pr- I, mean... I, I flip her a gold coin. Say, pay better attention. Oh, thanks. What do you want me to pay I attention can, to? I can Matthew. buy a beer with that. I get that. <laughs> but... For what? Do your goddamn so she, job. She she literally writes down everything that you've done with Matthew and then just gives it to you and goes, Kay. here you go. You already know it all, but keep it. there you go. And Thanks. then she just scurries away. Goes back into the wall. I should have cast light on her. <coughs> that probably would have ended badly for you. Nah, it would have been fine. Mm, okay. <clears throat> I wake up. Okay. So I go you guys... back to bed. Okay. Yeah, I wake up. <laughs> So you guys wake up just as Dirk's laying back down to bed. While Dirk lays back to bed, I do this. A uh, note has been passed let's from hope that gnome girl's paying attention. Matthew Fennell you have a... to the dungeon master. You have one of these? Not about those crystals. Oh, I thought you meant a literal one. Okay. He's looking for kyber crystals. Um, roll a wisdom. Crit fail. <laughs> uh... I have an aneurysm, and I'm dead. <laughs> I think you should roll that. I should should roll that. Define meaning. <clears throat> Existential dilemma. You. Uh, How am I not myself? How am I not myself? You find that life has no meaning or purpose, and that the only thing is the end. So you're kind of on a new obsession of death. That doesn't sound different. From any of his other characters. <clears throat> yeah. It's current character. I had meaning before, now I don't. Well, the only meaning is death. Death? Of himself? Death poetry. Death jam? <coughs> death comedy jam. Death leopard. Death leopardy jam. <laughs> <laughs> Obsession with one arm drummers. <laughs> that's that's hey, the new meaning that's of not life. funny. <laughs> 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 Oh, Meg White. <laughs> Whom? Does she have one arm? No. <laughs> she drops like she does. Armani <laughs> Granger. <laughs> okay, so you're all awake joke? now. Huh? Except for Dirk who laid back down. What was that? Was that a White Stripes joke? Yes. Yes. I get stuff. Why'd you yell Hermione Granger? Because <laughs> <laughs> she's a drummer and she sucks. Does she? What? She's not a drummer. No. Oh, Emma yeah, Watson's no. a drummer. No, she is. is she a drummer? She is. <laughs> Emma Watson's in a band. Uh, awesome. 
22. Emma, Emma Flotsam. Emma Flotsam. <laughs> Emma Flotsam. <laughs> hey, are you rolling a deception check for real life right now? <laughs> real life. Emma Flotsam can I don't, be in I don't, the, uh, I don't need in to the roll anything. coastal town for the red dragon. Hey, right so down. Do you want us to just move the microphone to the floor? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to just shout? Let it all out. These are the words. Kick your heels up. These are the things. We can no, these are that. my words. I mean, right, so Mark Shepard is a drummer. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm leaving. Okay, so yeah. you guys falling dashel. So you all leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna yep. go pick up okay. my cow. So when yeah, you get to the grab. stable okay. where oh, your uh, strength cows test. are, yeah. they are all armored. <gasps> with a and there's one of the queen's emissaries there, <laughs> and she's like, "Well, the queen thought that um, maybe you could use these." Oh my god! Oh my god! So I mean, the cows now have. What, do, what does it take to have citizenship here? An I, ant. If you're an mind. ant. Or the queen. Or the queen grants you special, you know, rights. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. This is the nicest thing anybody has ever done for me. <laughs> it's one of the ants these who's just last, chewing on the cow. These last four days, <laughs> you have no idea what we've been through in these last, last four days. Like murdering dogs. <laughs> They're not people. <laughs> Uh, we're getting on our armored cows, okay. thanking the queen and, and the leaving. guard and leaving. Okay. Do you want to go out the tunnel that you came from the forest, or do you want to go out the elevator, which would technically put you probably more in the right direction? Elevator. Okay. Yeah, whatever it gets. <laughs> no, we want to go to the forest. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go back to the elevator. Same thing as last time, the large pedestal. And it um, starts to rise up. And rise up. Sorry, that's from Hamilton. That's fine. <laughs> it gets you to the top after a few minutes, and, you Do know. People chant, like, in The Dark Knight Returns. And No, there's just that old ant that's sitting there. Does he have a beard? Yes, he does. Made of moths. Some no, the moths I, are all dead. I put my torch. That's up. a different. It's oh, a different ant. I light my torch. All of the moths fly off and just fly around it and then die from the flame. Fuck you, He's man. Like, oh, it was... took Sylvester so long to find for me. It oh. was the only happiness I had. <laughs> That's right. So eventually, you get to the top, and the uh, it's like a little gate sort of opens up, and you can leave at your leisure. Yeah, I do that. Okay, so you guys ride out of the ant mound, and it seems like it's eight or nine in the morning, but it's a little dark. Could be, you know, rain on the horizon, that sort of thing. But yeah, so there you go. Well, let's hope my armor doesn't rot. (laughs) Birds come and just peck at it. (laughs) Damn woodpeckers! What's our... uh... What's our riding order? Uh, I'll go Middle. first. Straight Middle. line, lined up side to side. Yeah, two and two. Have cows. We okay. gave you that dogling cow. What two and two? Yeah, do two two. Okay. I'll be in the front. Okay. Me too. So you're just gonna ride for the gnome city? Yeah. Okay. The halfling nope, the village. Halfling. Oh, halfling. Sorry, halfling village. What's the name of it? It's called Cork. Anything while you're riding? Do I, what do they do in Cork? We don't know. You've never been there. We're going there. We're going to go find yes, out. You've never been in a massive city until a few days ago. Hey, the wasteland changes people. Yeah, it does. It feels and places. like forever. It really does. <laughs> it feels like it's been more than a few days. Yeah. Like it's been I guess I'm months. Sleeping. <laughs> months. <laughs> and yet it's been days. Yeah. Uh. So uh, while you're riding, you notice that it's now starting to rain. Makes sense. And it's getting heavier and heavier as you go, to the point where now the, the terrain is starting to get a little rough in terms of mud and things like that. Mud? <laughs> mud, mud? Mud? Mud lead to cork. Mud, mud king now. Mud king. Of cork. Mud king of mud cork. King of cork. <laughs> if you want to know more about the regality of mud, uh, please uh, subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com. And fast forward to March. <laughs> yeah. Just the last ten minutes of the March one, yeah. part two. I mean, he's in the entirety of it. Yeah, so. but just the last ten minutes of. I mean, it's pretty two. funny the whole time. 
I will just cut out all the mud parts and make a 20 minute compilation. It's mud, just mud adventure. And, and it will be the best Patreon episode. <laughs> I'll cut together mud and Willy. Uh, <laughs> the mud Willy. And Lake him. Uh, yeah, I can no, take he could, he could talk. He could, he talk Lake him has his own podcast called Goatcast. <laughs> yeah. He just have the Pokemon Goatcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Pokemon yeah. Goatcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what you're running into as far as like a weather problem. We have survival packs, so we have like tents and shit. Stuff. Yeah. So let's go to high ground and set up something. We could do that. We'll camp. Uh, do we have an ant person with us at the moment? No, it's just you guys. No, it's just us. Okay. Uh, yeah, I suggest we follow Dashel to higher ground. Okay. Let's get out of this rain and. So the rain is so heavy at this point that it's hard to see too far in front of you guys, but you do have compasses, so you could use the compass to try and find high ground. Like moving, <laughs> you move north, you'd be moving towards the mountains. One would assume that's higher ground, but I mean, if you can't see anything, why is north associated with mountains? That's where so the mountains like were. A mountain range. That's just where the mountains were located. Should we just north. stand on top of our cows? You can. It's just slowly. No. <laughs> A tray you <laughs> North wouldn't be mountains. South would be mountains. In the map, there are mountains to the north and south. Because I said the steel, the metal mountains are to the north, and the mountains where you guys were located were to the south. So you can do sort of a wisdom check to try and figure out where you think high ground would have been. Survival. That works too. Sixteen. Also sixteen. Uh, you seem to recall there being uh, rocky outcropping not too far. You know, this was a little while ago. would probably be at this point to your right-hand side, somewhere in that direction. Hi-ho, Atreyu. Okay. That's my cow's name. Where are we going? To the To east. the right. Yeah. <laughs> to the left. To the east of uh We want to go Beckett's. south. Southeast. Yeah. So you're going to the right to try and find the rocky outcroppings? Yeah. Okay. So I would say after about five minutes of sort of just kind of trudging through muddy ground, you do come to a large outcropping of rocks. Now, if I'm going to the right because I... Oh, well, he rolled one as well. Yeah. Got it. Never mind. Yep. Continue. Okay. And I would say we're clopping more than we're trudging because we have cows. But it's muddy. Is that a a clop? It's it's more of a cludge. (laughs) We're cludging. (laughs) It's a cludging. All right. So uh, eventually you come to this rocky outcropping, and it, it doesn't look like there's a cave per se, but some of the rocks sort of form something that is close to a cave where you could maybe get out of the uh, weather for a little elements. bit. Elements was the word I was looking for. Elements for a little bit. I feel like there's going to be an ooze, and then we're going to fight. So I mean, we're you can fight just an ogre, and there's going to be a guy in a cage. I don't know if uh, like it. You don't have to go in the cave. You can just try and trudge through the okay. rain. You said gyno cage. Gyno <laughs> cage. What? cage. What? Get in the stirrups. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Still cleanse. Start the road of trap. I don't get it. None of us do. Obviously, you're not a woman, Phil. Not anymore. Ooh. Okay. So what are you doing? Yeah, let's check out the cave. Make cave. I'm going in the cave. Okay. Yeah. All gonna, bing. Gonna be in the cave. Monster. So there's a source of light at whatever I pointed at. Yeah. You're just pointing at the back of the cave? Or? Yeah. Okay. So it hits a rock and it illuminates an entire rock, which basically illuminates that entire area. Everything cool. is illuminated? The cave seems like it goes out and down, like it's mm-hmm. below ground, it almost seems like. So the rock you hit is almost in the ceiling, and then it shines down, but you can it definitely goes. see. The water is also running down that, but it looks like there's a pool of water down there at least, but there is solid ground down that ramp as well. All right, I'll lead. My, I'll, I'll get off of Galactos and lead him into the cave. Okay. Is, there, is there a place to tie off the uh, us? And the then arm. We, and then we tie off? <laughs> uh, if you go down towards the pool of water, it does seem like there's um, almost <laughs> rock-like pillars that you could probably tie a rope to, whether or not it would hold the cows. Are Depends. they actually rock? They look like rock. Am I actually or are they rock monster? <laughs> Good joke. Good song joke, John. <laughs> Fuck you, Phil. <laughs> I'm gonna tie off with a seventeen. Yeah, no, your cow's tied up. It's just 
Yeah, yeah but how high did he get? What? <laughs> <laughs> he said eye tied he's off. All yeah. the way up. He uh he didn't know D. He's pretty good though. His right. eyes have glazed over. All right, well, I'm going to tie both of our cows up to one of the pillars while he slinks into an open <laughs> field coma. <laughs> okay. So you tie up the cows. Yeah. My son. I'll tie up my cow. And when you get down there, it looks like this cave opening is a is, um, few hundred feet. So it's, pre- it's pretty big. A few hundred right. feet in like each direction. But there's a large pool of water right there where the water's running into from the, the rain. Okay, uh, and I, I say that someone should light a torch, and then I'll bing with light down into the water. Okay. Bing. So you, <laughs> so you bing, and it it seems like it, it's actually fairly deep, probably about 30 feet deep or so. Okay. And it hits a rock and lights up, and it sort of lights up the surrounding area, and you see these little fish sort of dart away from it. Okay. Do we All see right. any carnivorous fish that may or may not eat our faces and turn us into fish monster men you see bigger fish but you don't see like a gigantic monster okay floating around in there but if there are fish in this cave pond that means the water connects to a larger body because they can't survive just in here unless there's some sort of oxygen producing fungus underneath the cave water well you would be the fungus expert <laughs> <laughs> oh this is actually ornithocalus i attempt to bing a big fish to bing a big fish. <laughs> Going so to a the, the Roll fish. to attack. <laughs> it uh, dies of cancer. I don't know what I add to it. <laughs> it's just a spell attack. I don't know what my... Intelligence. intelligence. Okay, okay, intelligence. So, 19... 21. So you hit a fish, it lights up, and immediately just starts spazzing out wildly, and then the rest of the fish sort of, like the other bigger fish, just, oh, okay, and they just sort of rip into it and murder it real fast. But it's still... Do the bits still glow? The bits that are falling off are glowing, yeah. Okay. So it's. Does it like explode into tumors? Uh, no, it looks like boils almost. I mean, like it burn taken, wounds. It taken years. Excellent. What? To get fish cancer. I'd say you got fish but cancer. But you can get radiation poisoning fairly tumors. quickly. Yeah. I said. Well, I said boils. Susan Boils. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you call your wife? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne and Boyles. The lovely lady lumps. <laughs> Suzanne's Boyles. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Rough. So, yeah. So, that's what you see. Meow. So, there's a light at the bottom. There's also a lit up fish corpse as well. Yo, that fish is lit. Yeah. It is. Fuck you. Yo. Yeah, look at that's that. That's that caption of that picture. Yo, that fish is lit. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. 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 Yeah, look at what that fish used <laughs> to be. <laughs> <laughs> Song reference. Yeah. Funny. That was good. That was good. You had a good one. That was good. Took you 50 episodes, but you had a good one. Uh, I believe for like 10 episodes, I had a really really good one. Uh, well, one like out of two episodes. episodes. We Yo, even like... referenced it last episode, and it was funny again. I don't remember. <laughs> Sort of like a self-loathing kind of humor. <laughs> yeah, I stole it from Reddit. <laughs> Self-deprecating uh. <laughs> humor is the best kind of humor. But it is False. still dark in the cave towards the um, outer regions. It's just where you currently are is pretty well lit. All right, I'll, like, so we have the glowfish down there, so I'll keep binging parts of the cave. Bing, bing, and like seeing what's there. I like that I'm our Twitter mascot. So, <laughs> look at this monkey. <laughs> Dance monkey. Dance gorilla boy. Chongo. <laughs> Chimmy Chongo. Motumbo. <laughs> Yo, Harappa's not dead. DJ Young Chongo. Shake that motherfucker. Taught him to play D&D and make so music short. references. First to a sign the language. Picture, the picture they don't want you to see. <laughs> so... As you're pinging around, you get further and further out, and then as you get towards the furthest parts of the cave, you start to see like little creatures sort of dart away from the light, and then what do they look like? It's hard to tell. You just see like shadows. It's also like a hundred feet away. And then uh, in one spot, you see something a little larger, sort of slink behind into the shadow. Is it an ooze monster? <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna, I see what direction it goes, right? Yeah. I'll follow Bing after it. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> you eventually... can't escape me, mysterious, <laughs> slinky creature. You're, stuck. Are you the, you're the boss from... 
Bing. <laughs> the slinky creature. Yeah, stop yeah. lighting up my cave. <laughs> Whoa. That was... What was that? Well, Stop what... lighting up my cave! I'm gonna use my perception to see what direction that came from. Well, he, I mean, he's binging the shit out of that area. <laughs> like, he's literally lighting up all around him. I'm doing finger guns, both of them. <laughs> Trap, uh, lighting up Gavin. everything. <laughs> I got a nat 20 on perception. It seems like whatever it is is hiding behind a rock. I bing the rock. The, the rock is lit up. The rock is lit. It's lit as, you know, as fuck. But what is he cooking? I can't smell it. Pancakes. You just, you just, stop lighting up my cave! <clears throat> it's too bright! Okay. Whoa, what's, what's wrong with a little light in here? I like the dark! Okay, I, I understand that, but who are you? Who, who are you? My name is Seamus! <laughs> Seamus Finnegan. Uh, no, shameful. Yes, hello. Nice to meet you. Seamus Claude. Ah, shameless. Okay. Yes. Shavus. Get out of my cave. Shavus Claude. Yeah, Shavus Claude. Uh, what? Why would we do that? We're, uh... This is mine! Well, I... I didn't see any signs posted out front. Or if you did have one, it's been raining so bad that we couldn't see. Yeah. <sighs> You shouldn't write signs in feces. It's yeah, Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, you all remember when that happened. He flung shit on the wall and wrote words with it. In Brazil. Yeah. Didn't even try. Said, fuck you, Canada. That's weird. Wrote, wrote in perfect Portuguese. It was weird. <laughs> Anyways. He's just like, what I'm telling you now. Get out of my cave! Well, at this point, we're already here, and we're not going to leave until the rain is over. <sighs> so... Well, you stay over there, and I stay over here. Do you have any crystals? Will you go away if I give you a crystal? Yup. He might. Just starts fucking pinging crystals at you. Like, just throwing them. What colors are they? There's a white one. Oh, yes. uh, like a milky colored one. It's also white. <laughs> 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 no, to you, they're all different. Uh, there's a green one, a black one, and a red one. A purple one. I uh, pocket them to increase my aura. Sure. I'm going to go over to... Shavus. 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 Clumps? Claude. Claude. Shavus Clumps. She's part of the clumps. Shave my clumps. <laughs> Can you shave my clumps? Yes. Clumps. It's like dogs when you don't brush their hair. They get those hair clumps. Meet the clumps. It's like that. Starring Seamus. Seamus. <laughs> Playing all eight characters. That's right. Get out of my cave! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go over to Seamus. Yeah, I'll walk over to him. Okay. I'll walk over. I keep my end of the bargain. And I go to the mouth of the cave and wait. Okay. So when you walk over, he's got his, his back up to the... So there's a rock, and then it's right next to one of the cave walls. And he's sort of got his back up against the wall. So he's between a rock and a hard place. Yes. And he's, he's got like a tiny rock knife. He's like, you leave me alone. I don't have anything for you. And Seamus has really long, wiry hair. It's like down to the middle of his back. And he's got these really long, gnarled fingernails. And he's missing a lot of teeth. And the ones that he does have are very pointy. Does um, math. He's about, I'd say, three feet tall. A buddy! Uh, maybe. So are you a, like a halfling or something? Used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half of a halfling. He's sort of a... A quarterling? I'm half the ling I used to be. His name used to be Smeagol. No, I'm, my mom was a halfling and my dad was a gnome. Oh, he's just a, an abomination then. Man, they threw me in this fucking cave! Yeah, it makes sense. What Can have you have... been surviving on? <clears throat> Fish? Oh. Raw fish. <laughs> a lot of mercury. <laughs> I'm actually 14 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. I thought about doing the cave diet once, but it looks like I chose properly against doing that. Good you look, old. You look terrible. Oh, Dasha, do you have to eat? Of course I have to eat. Yes, I'm, eat I'm a fish person. <laughs> I thought you just drank. Well, I, I usually choose just to do that. And I open up old Pete's Bog whiskey. And he likes the fish for the oils. Fish oil. <laughs> fish oil. He likes to cram discs into himself. 
That's dicks. Dicks. Mm. Disc? Discs. Discs. Dick discs. Dick discs. discs. He's got disc mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you got Three a disc in your mouth. He's got dyscantary. <laughs> dyscantary. <laughs> That's such a good joke. So, yeah. So, he's he's just sitting there. <laughs> Can I, I said you guys stay in your side of the cave and leave me to mine. Can Listen, we... we just showed up here to escape the weather and now we have half of a cave. We, we don't want your cave. We just want to talk to you. What do you want? I defer to my compatriot. What do we want? <laughs> I don't actually know. I mean, we just don't want to. So does be this cave rain. come to an end or is it is there like a. You guys are at the end of the cave. So there's no tunnel in no, the water no. or anything like that. So we're just sharing a cave with this abomination. Old lecher man, yeah. We could just we could just stay here and have like a sitcom. <laughs> Come on, knock on my cave. That's so Seamus. <laughs> He's been waiting for you. We can plug in laughter. Can I use my uh, telekinesis? Sure. To shave him. <laughs> what would it be able to do against Shavus? Uh, the your telekinesis all it does is read thoughts and you can project your thoughts yeah into I want to that's read... not telekinesis at all well, it's not telekinesis it's telep- 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 telepathy. telepathy 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 <laughs> yeah telekinesis is mind yeah, it's mind moving yeah, stuff yeah mind blowing telekinesis yeah. no no it was my mess up not his that's fine. telepathy yeah. so I'm gonna use that okay to read his thoughts okay so he's just thinking one thought I can't have my stone I can't have my stone I can't have my stone. That's all they're saying in his head over and over and over. I'm going to Thieves Camp that to Dashiell. Do you know Thieves Camp? No. No, you don't. <laughs> so you're waving your it. fingers at me. And He's I just go, like, huh? but per- performance, since I don't really know Thieves Camp. Nonverbal communication. It's an 18. You can. Put words in his head. Oh yeah, I can fucking. <laughs> you can just. Tell I could use my telepathy. <laughs> yeah. If only there was some way I could project words Boom. into your head without me telling them to. Unfortunately, <laughs> or, it only works with organic beings. So when I go into Dashiell's head, does it just sound like a modem trying to boot up? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's words. All right. Is there a very against that? very quiet? It's too quiet. Dashiell. One. That's all you hear. But, yeah, no. You one. hear words. He's Zero. thinking like thoughts. Dasha. It's bro. Shh, da, stop. Don't what? make a notice. What did? What's that? Why do I hear someone I'm talking else's... to you. Stop talking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I'm saying this in my head. <laughs> like, oh, I was Sorry. thinking about yep. wondering what I... Wait a second. Something. It's, it's kind of like your light guns, but a little bit more useful. <laughs> <laughs> Seamus is guarding a rock of some sort that he doesn't want us to have. And I'm going to telepathically tell Dirk, Matthew, you're on the other He's side gone, of the cave, man. But you can still do it. I'll tell Matthew as well. Okay. As long as Matthew doesn't, like, freak out and, like... You didn't say gem. You said rock. Yeah. Or crystal. He freaks out about crystals. Yeah, well... He might not freak out about a rock. Crystals Maybe he does. rocks. They're minerals, Marie! <laughs> what? Shut up, Morty. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll tell the entire party. Okay, so now you all know that this guy is apparently always thinking, is don't let him have the rock. I come back from the mouth of the cave. Okay. Join the party. Ah, there's another of you! What do you want? Can I try to calm him down? Yeah. Animal handling. Telepathically? <laughs> sure. Can you sing him like a lullaby? Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Wu Tang. Pink, Pink Fist Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Persuasion? <laughs> Um, <laughs> intimidation. That works too. Wait, um, I thought you wanted to calm him down. I know. <laughs> and I will sing a lullaby! <laughs> but you will like it and stop crying. Yeah, I'll try to calm him down. Okay. And, and be I'm like, hey man, I'm not going to do it telepathically because I don't want him to uh, sure. know that I can do that. Sure. I'm just going to try to tell him like, hey man, we don't want to, we're not looking for trouble, we're just waiting for, uh. The weather to pass, and we'll be on our way. I don't, I don't want anything from you. Yeah, we don't know about your rock. What? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't say that. She, uh, he's like, all right, fine, but you go over there on the other side of the cave. You leave me alone. Why? I don't like people. Why? I like to be alone. But why? Let's talk about. No, this. I don't want to talk. You didn't even ask me what I rolled for. 
What did you roll? A 20. He is calmer. <laughs> He's calm. He's just asking you in his version of calm to move to the other side of the cave. So with a 21. Okay. I want to try to talk to him about his family problems. Try to get to know the real Shavis. What do you want to know? I mean, just where all this hostility... I'm a fucking monster, okay? No, you're not a monster. I am. I'm magically hey, sealed in this fucking cave. What? Yeah. He is a monster. By it's a fucking who? barrier. My parents! Oh, man. that's. I mean, I hate my parents, too. But you're not a monster, man. That's. There's so many bullies out there. And just... He, like, takes his long fingernails and just <laughs> rakes them over your face like that, <laughs> They're Dashel like, now! They're like curly. <laughs> you shoot him? No, I don't shoot him. I do but pull my gun out though. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What is wrong with you? I'm a no, monster. I'm a monster. No, you're Why not. Why don't a you monster. deal with that? You have all the cap- like all you you you, you, just, you have rocks all. The- Why? It's just me and the fish. What? They don't care. They don't judge me. And they're delicious. So while this is going on, I rolled a 22 to slink away in my carapace. Okay. In your what? In his my husk. carapace. My husk. Your husk. Yeah, he does. I, I imagine myself as a solid snake under a cardboard box. <laughs> or the alligator suit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you slink away. Okay. Keeping an eye on everyone. Sure. Okay. So anyway, you slink away. <laughs> what else has happened? Well, I'm still trying to get to know the real Clumpus. Okay. Right, that was Shavus. Shavus. Shavus Clump. Shavus Clump. Clod. Shavus Clump, all right. <laughs> Meet the Clumps. What do you want to know? Meet the Clods. I'm just... Dirk. I'm trying to keep Shavus occupied. Okay. Well, hey, with do, that... you, do you have an ulterior motive? I was gonna ulterior. Can I talk back? Yeah, because I can talk to you in your head. Okay. You just have to think. You think to yourself. And he can read it. Uh, so it's not you projecting your thoughts to him. You're just. Yeah. Do you want it to be known to everybody, or you want to write me a note? No, I. All right. Can be known to everybody. Uh, oh my god, is this the mental equivalent of like a group? It's chat a three-way <laughs> call. <laughs> this is group, out of character. It's a group chat. No, we're in character. Dirk has entered the phone call. <laughs> Mind call. Bitch. All right, time to post some. Dank memes to my mind. Right. <laughs> Dash will draw hell. Ah. <laughs> Why'd you kick me out, bro? Dash has been blocked. Dirk, what's your plan? I was gonna follow him back to his crystal gem rock thing. Take it. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna take this rock. I mean, he's sealed here anyway. Well, I mean, if we don't have to do it by force, then we could just kill him. Could do that. Uh, why were you uh, why were you sealed in here? Other than he, that, you he was, think you're a monster. That's what my parents told me. They told me I'm a monster. Okay. Did they give you anything else or just nope? How do you know? Common. I mean, I wasn't put here like at birth. So they raised you enough for you to know. They were language. hoping. Language. I was told. I overheard them saying they were hoping that I wouldn't turn out this way. That I would look like one or the other, but I don't. You can't help it, man. You were born this way. Right. And I open fire. I've I've got no judgment towards you. Society may, you know, frown upon your kind of people. Did you do anything to deserve to be here? I was born here as a child. I've been here for... Ten years <laughs> in five minutes. They just left <laughs> maybe, right before the rain. Maybe you saw them. Are you my mama? <laughs> <laughs> my mama. <laughs> I man, was just born. <laughs> I was just born yesterday. No, uh, he says he's, hey, in that case. Oh my goodness. He's man. been there for 150. I've been here for 157 years, give or take. How are you? calculating that and then he sort of turns to the wall that's behind him and he's just been just doing slashes and then as you look around actually there's lots of these little like markers in the walls tally marks yeah tally marks they're like everywhere what's he slashing them with his fingernails fucking (laughs) one of his fingernails is a little shorter than the rest (laughs) 
but it's really sharp. for the coke. Yeah. <laughs> the rest are for the coke. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Five would be too many. <laughs> Fish coke. <laughs> the most pure fish cane (laughs) (laughs) that fish is lit Uh, it is lit i'll reply to that (laughs) fish michael cane michael phelps so that's a sad story man that's That's my life well you know that you have a friend in brock and he pulls out like a fish he just gnaws on it where does he pull it out from like he has like a back pocket of his it's like a little satchel in the back of him. He yeah. pulls out a fish. Yeah, a little back pocket. Yeah. He has a rear pocket. Sure. The butthole. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's my... What would you call this abomination? A half? No? A call nubbling? It, call it a, a home. A, a nobbit? <laughs> what? A nobbit? Nobbit, sure. I'm a so nobbit. G-N-O-B-B-I-T. Yeah. So, so a nobbit hole? It's a nobbit hole. It's my nabbit hole. It's a little brown. Gross. It's got some hair on it. Your Nutella starfish. Do you want a you want a fish? Yes, I do. Absolutely. He pulls not. another fish out of his nabbit hole, tosses it to you. <laughs> and I open Dex? fire as he tosses the fish. How are you opening fire? With on what? Two pistols. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. What do you mean, how? I said he was behind a rock, and then literally where that rock was is a wall. And then you he guys said, are in front of it, and you snuck away. So where are you shooting him from? What I heard was he opened fire on the fish. There was he, he left away. He walked away. He shot the fish. I didn't walk away. I snuck away. You said the words, I snuck away. keep an eye on him. You can't see him if you, you sneak away. You flanked him as you snuck, you say? He's literally trapped. You even said between a rock and a hard place. You guys so have we can him. see him. I'm yeah. very confused about the situation. Yeah, we can too. see him. You can't because you walked away. Yeah. We're like standing over the rock just looking Imagine at Imagine a wall, like... a wall, and a rock. All right, well you guys then... are here. He's stuck Retro. between the rock and the wall. Well, then Dirk's going to come rewind. back. I'm not going to do that. No. Okay. Because if I knew that I could not see him from any other angle, I would not sneak away. Okay. No. Our whole plan is to kill him. Okay. Mine and Dirk's plan is to kill him. Okay. I kind of want to know where the the rock is, and what the rock is. I think he's doing mostly HBO shows now. Yeah, he's on Ballers, I think. Yeah, he's on that new Fast and Furious movie. Uh, he's on uh, Baywatch too. He is on Baywatch. <clears throat> what are you doing? Um, he's just chewing on a fish. I guess we don't know really what rock he's trying to hide. Yeah, we gotta. How have can him we ask him? Us. How can we ask him without saying like we're gonna steal it? So you got any stuff? <laughs> Where's your rock? I'm hungry, but I don't need fish. You have anything else? No, all I've got is fish. Insight. I just eat fish. Do you have anything for fun? Uh, Funsies. 16. He also rolled a 16. I will I will ask him, so you gave me some pretty sweet crystal <clears throat> rocks. Mm-hmm. Do you have any more? Crystals? Or rocks? Yeah, where'd you get those? Crystal rocks. It's a cave. And then he's like, he digs around in the rocks for a while, and he pulls out another tiny crystal. And he's like, here you go, it's a blue one. Is that oh, your only, only ones? No, I've got lots of crystals. Is it lapis lazuli, or is it soda light? Neither. It's blue. It's soda zero. <laughs> oh, it's blue. Mm-hmm. It's the blue one. What's yeah. your most valuable crystal? I don't have a value. I live in a cave. I go back What's inside his head. Your most precious rock. My most precious rock? <laughs> He's like, it's uh, obviously my big yellow one. What is he saying inside his head during all this? They can't have my rock. They can't have my rock. They can't have my rock. So as all these questions are being asked, I'm going to stay inside his head. Okay. And if anything cha- changes, I'm going to... Can I see your collection? He's like, sure. And he's like, but you guys are in my way. I can't really go anywhere. We mean you no harm. Sure you can. What? I moved out of the way. So he sort of timidly walks up between you guys and then kind of walks around you guys. You can if you want to stab him. Not yet. I don't have a stand. Hold. So he, he sort of likes watching you, and he 
sort of scurries over to the um Give him the thumbs up. other side of the cave. And he jumps on our cows and leaves. No! <laughs> <laughs> you came in and broke the spell. <laughs> <laughs> cows are mine. You're stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck with me forever. No, we're, we Ready to hold. We take his place and he steals our cows and leaves. <laughs> okay. So, uh. One way shielding. He goes about 30, 35 feet away from you guys. You know, another little outcropping of rocks. And I'm he, following him. Yeah, that's fine. Inside he, his head. But he's, he's just like, eh, crystals. And he just pulls these crystals out. And there's all kinds of different colored crystals, different sizes and things like that. He's like, eh, crystals. <clears throat> and rocks. There's rock. The whole cave's made of rocks. I'm inside his head. Don't give him the rock. Don't give him the rock. Don't give him the rock. Give him the ball. Give him the rock. Don't give him. Oh. You should, uh. You're not my dad! You should deception inside of his head. Give him the rock. Give him the rock. (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna try to change his thoughts. Inception. That's not how that works. I mean, you could put your voice in his head. Can I performance to mimic his voice? (laughs) I mean, do you. I don't. I didn't give you with your it, it would be a mental sound. Yeah, so that's, you would only sound the way that you think you would. That's easy to do, though. So then you would just pretend that he's talking to himself because you're not actually using your vocal cords. Have you ever though. read something in That your seems mind. more powerful than it ought to be for what the level it is that yes, I gave you. Yes, but if I'm reading Lord of the Rings, I'm going to do different voices inside yeah. my head as yes. different characters. Okay. Therefore, I don't need vocal cords to change okay. my voice sure so straight int roll well it'd be a performance yeah first to sure. see since no matter my performance i'm going to do it anyway yeah so performance and then deception yes so don't botch red is performance mm-hmm. gray is to re-roll. Deception. he's rolling two things i'm rolling two things <laughs> oh my fuck double 20s no but i got my deception was a 20 Okay. My performance is a 19. Okay. And then my deception is a crit 20. Okay. So you perfectly mimic his voice in his head saying what? Give him the rock. So give he's saying, rock. no, don't give him the rock. Give, give him the rock. rock. Don't give him the rock. And it's just going back and forth in his head <laughs> to the point where in real life, he's just saying, ah! <laughs> <laughs> but, and he starts bashing his head against hey, what, the wall. Hey, what's going What's going on? Uh, voices in my head. Well, we all have those. <laughs> Beep boop. What are, what are you <laughs> saying? Beep boop and whatnots. <laughs> They're just saying nonsense. Insight. Just the word nonsense. That sounds pretty crazy. Damn it. <laughs> Six. Yeah, no. How about a twenty-two? Yeah, he's full of shit. I, think I you're just, you're, you're lying to me. And they're saying things I don't like to say. Uh. Persuasion with a 17. You can tell us. We're trained therapists. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we're, we're, uh, we're grief counselors. We're the only friend you've ever had. <laughs> yeah. He says, they're telling me to give away my rock. And then he just starts to run, like just flailing wildly and running. I'm sorry, did you say rock? Yes. That's what, what he said. What kind of, what rock? He's just running at this point. Can I, I catch him? Take... Dex? I was going to actually bash him. You can attack him. With my Garth Maul. Okay. Isn't it just a mug? No, I, I've never drank Oh, you've it. never drank yep, Okay, it's so it's just, just like always that. been a yep. mall. Okay. So did you hit him? Uh, 14. Yeah, that Or wait. No, that won't hit him. Okay. Almost, but not quite. So you swing, and then he's like, Rah! and then he runs even faster. But the cave is fine, I... I know. It's <laughs> just <laughs> fucking lit. <laughs> On the walls. <laughs> Around the walls. <laughs> Yeah, no, he just runs to the opposite end of the cave, and he's just standing there. Uh, he's like, you stay back! to get him with my rope and try and lasso him. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. <laughs> then strength, I guess. And then just strength to stop him. Sure. Uh, I got a 12. Uh, he actually pulls you. Oh, all right, well, <laughs> that's fine. Can I, can I try to hold on to Dashiell? You can grab Dashiell. I guess Dex to catch him. Crit 20. Yeah, so you have a hold of Dashiell, and then... Your strength now. 23. Yep, nope, you've stopped him. So it's literally you pulling, Dashiell pulling the small creature. Whoa. Eh, let me go! No. So can I do a quick perception as I'm doing this? By the way, he crit 20 to Dex out of the rope. 
<laughs> so he slipped it and then <laughs> runs to the other end of the cave. Quick perception. Yeah. Is it still raining outside? It sounds like it. Right. We can do that band camp thing or you know you, Excuse me? You do that that <laughs> No. Uh, uh mm, wow. That's <laughs> We went to two different band camps. <laughs> it wasn't band camp. It was like a we camp just walk straight or fucked it. Most. <laughs> I just I was just banned from camp, so. I don't know. Oh. Hey, do you like Harry Potter? Oh, I like Harry Potter. And if you like Harry Potter and you like botch podcasts, you should head on over to patreoncom slash podcast where this month's special exclusive episodes are Perry Potter, a magical. Wondrous journey into an inner city, corporately owned magical school. Um, you can also, though, talk to people on Discord from Botch Podcasts, and you can also create content exclusive to the regular Patreon episodes if you subscribe today. So head on over to patreon.com slash botch podcast and subscribe. And we're back. So the... Little person, um, Seamus, has run to the other side of the cave. Wee and he's got, his, he's got his back to the cave, and he's sort of shaking, and he's reaching around in his back pocket. It's a knob at home. <laughs> are we, we going to do initiative? Or you can if you want. Everyone want sure. one more bonus action before he... Yeah, I'll take a bonus initiative. action. Sure. To roll initiative. Okay. And I got a seven. Twenty. Nineteen. Two. Oh, are we bonus action? Oh, wait, sorry, or what's the deal? Initiative. Eight. It's too late. Eight. My initiative went up. Eight. And then what'd you say, Brock? Uh, I got an 18. 18. 19. 19. 14. So uh, first up will be uh, a Matthew. Note. A note Matthew. passed. First is a note. <laughs> Sleight of hand? 24. Uh, do a perception, perception check. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to pull my fucking cord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 22. Nope. No, yeah, no, he pulls your cord. <laughs> <laughs> so your wings shoot out. And it's just... <laughs> you're not where, moving anywhere. Where did you pull it from? Are you behind him? <clears throat> sure. So my wings hit you? Yep. So they just throw you back a little bit and you fall down. Turn over. But they're just... They're, he's not flying anywhere because yeah. he only flies where he wants to fly. But it's just like... <laughs> it's making a lot of noise oh, because you're in That's cave. weird. Uh I promise this doesn't happen every time. This is a little embarrassing. It uh, does. This isn't the first time this has happened. Premature wing ejaculation. Yeah, no, it happens <laughs> almost every time. So since you got knocked down, I'm going to say that's that'll yep. probably be the turn. <laughs> then it will be um, crit twenty. Brock. I shot him in the head. You did. Yep. Okay, so you <laughs> shot him in there. So you called the shot before you crit. Yeah. But you. No, I, I want you like to. No, 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 no. Yeah, I want I, you. I mean, I shot him. I shot him with a crit twenty. What do you want from me? Okay. You want me to roll damage? Yeah. D twenty plus five. Got it. Nope. D ten plus five. Times two. So is the the plus five? Does that get doubled as well? No. It's just your normal. It's the the dice roll. Yeah. Nineteen two. damage. Yeah, he's dead. You blow a hole in his chest, and he's just like, ah, fuck it. You're a monster. <laughs> No one loves you. You are put here for a reason, you monster. And he just coughs up blood and falls in the fish pond, and then... <laughs> oh, somebody... No, no, they... Do they eat him? They're starting to eat him, yeah, the little fish. We need, I mean, we need his crystal. I'm going to get a skimmer and try to skim him out. <laughs> a skimmer. <laughs> Who's got a scoop? <laughs> proceed for skimmer with a 13. <laughs> no skimmer. You can just try and pull him out. I'm just going to pull him out, though. Yeah, jump in the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm just I'm making gonna, you paranoid. I'm going to try to fish him out with my Garth Maul. Okay. What would I roll for that? Intelligence. To use your arms and your legs. <laughs> <laughs> He's using the, uh, a I'll maul give, to I'll give you, I'll pull give him you out. advantage. Give me advantage. Just, like, stand there and be like, <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way to use that. Have you tried not sucking? <laughs> <laughs> 17. Uh, your Garth Maul disintegrates in the water. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Gone forever. <laughs> Made of sugar. <laughs> I slam on your table, breaking my desk, and I leave. You uh, you pull him over to the side, and he just had he has a couple chunks of meat missing from him as the little fish swim back into the water. I pick him up and cradle him. Are you all right? He's got Rick and Mortis. 
Rick and Mortis. Rick and Mortis. Rick and Mortis. <laughs> Rick and Mortis. <laughs> I was thinking about it in my head, Rigger and I accidentally <laughs> said it. Rick and Mortis. Don't oh, say doing he's got your kid. what? Don't say doing your wife. Don't what? say doing your wife. I don't know how doing to say your doing your wife. Not this Monday, but the following Monday. <laughs> so yeah, so you're cradling his dead body that you shot. Arthur. He definitely doesn't look like Arthur. Shavis. Yes, he Looks does. Like- he's got a big wiry beard and gnarly fingernails. Big and bushy beard. Big pointy hat. Big bushy beard. <laughs> Arthur was killed on Halloween. <laughs> Missing teeth. That's what he dressed as a hobo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He was the cutest hobo ever. A toothless hobo. <laughs> a toothless, wire-haired, fingernailed hobo. Yeah. Why'd you shoot him then? Why'd I shoot who? Arthur. I didn't shoot my son. You did. You said it reminds you of your son. So you shot your son. Well, now, dead, it reminds me of my son. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go through and... What? What? <laughs> you're going to loot the body? You're, you're, okay. So you're reaching up in his knobbed hole? Is that what you're doing? Well, I mean, first I would check. Wouldn't the wouldn't his knot uh, hole evacuate no, yeah, itself? That's true. <laughs> the stones come out. <laughs> so you find a couple small crystals. And, I toss them over to Matthew. And you find uh, some bones. I toss them over to Dirk. And you find a small, smooth rock, which I give to myself. Uh, okay, I'll give it to Dashiell. It's oh. like one of those skipping stones. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you. This, insight on the rock. Butt rock. Insight on the butt rock. Insight on the rock to know its motivations. Uh, with a 17. <laughs> it's a rock. Do I believe this is the rock he was talking about inside his own head? Uh, it's the only rock that he had on him. So if it is the rock in his head, then it's probably it. I'm going to perceive the stone with an 18. It's perfectly smooth and black. Not a single scratch on it or anything. Just it, very can smooth. Can I tell what it's made of? Um, obsidian. <laughs> I don't know what's what are skipping stones made of. Stone rock? metal. <laughs> There's what no kind of rock? Specific kind yeah, of rock. It's just a stone that's been smoothed rip, by river uh, rock. Okay. River rock. And I'll call it uh, obsidian rock. Dolomite. Volcanic glass. Butt rock. So obsidian. <laughs> is that what it is? Sure. That be yeah, volcanic that's, glass. That's yeah. volcanic glass. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So I don't really obsidian. obsidian <laughs> sure. I take it back. No. Well. Is this the rock that he was talking about? Probably. We don't know. He's dead. Check his socks. <laughs> you gotta check socks. the body. Okay. Is that medicine? Sure. What are you checking the body for? 16. I mean, looked like he had calloused hands and feet. Like I said before, not many teeth. Um, I searched the pool with a 21. Face first? Yeah. <laughs> It looks like there's a bunch of stones very similar to the ones, the one that you just pulled out of the back of his But But <laughs> if only he wasn't dead. It looks very similar to those. It's fine. We'll figure it out later. Okay. That's fine. Has the rain stopped? Yep. Why don't you try skipping that stone across the water? See what happens. Okay. I dex it. To steal it? Who has it? Yeah, I have it. Okay. Dash and uh, I'm... I'm quite actively aware of you guys you're not taking it from me well i wouldn't take it from you because i gave it to you yeah, okay gun so <laughs> 21 to skip it i'm gonna go on the other side of the pond okay if you want to try skipping it to me and see what happens yeah I'll, I'll do that i'll skip it to him okay uh roll decks skip to my loo my darling my loo loo my broccoli uh 19 okay so you go to skip it, and the moment it leaves your hands, it seems like time bends around this rock kind of funny, and it looks like it's picked up speed at like a ridiculous rate. Oh, You're shit. dead, Brock. Oh, so, no. <laughs> All right, Brock, here we go. So it hits that first pull and creates a it's like massive... like a sonic boom. Yeah. Boom! But it's just like skip, skip. <laughs> 19. Boom! Roll. Sonic boom! Roll Dex? <laughs> dex save. <clears throat> Roll dex. Because he knows I'm throwing it at him. He's just not well, prepared for the speed. But yeah, it'd be really, really fast. Yeah, it'd be too fast. Well, would he, would he <laughs> do a per- like a perception roll just to see it? Sure, perception. Should have been my dex. <laughs> <laughs> perception. Yeah. Twenty four. So your eyes get real big in your head as that it goes way faster than you were thinking, and it's oh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, Dex, why not to try and get out of the way? Who's behind me? No one. Nobody. You're just up against the cave wall. So there's all right. So there's no cows or anything. Ready to ca- <laughs> No. Three twenty one. So you somehow kind of just, matrix out the way. Just turn a little bit. It tears the clothes. Shaves my armpit off. And yeah, shaves like skin and creates a massive crater in the wall behind you. <sighs> like a massive crater. And the rock's just sitting in it. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean I Dex to grab the rock grab first. It, Dex to grab, grab the rock it. first. I grab it. Well, he's close to it. You're not he's that right close there. To it, so yeah. athletics. Okay, athletics. Uh, well, you'd 19, have to athletics 19. and then Dex. Yeah. And he just has to Dex. 21. So he would grab it before you probably. Yeah. Unless you. Crit your athletics, but you I didn't. Did so yeah, so Brock just takes it. And boop. I give it back to the robot. Okay. I'm sorry, the what? The dash. How do you no, give it no, back no. to him? I just give it back. <laughs> <laughs> do you? No, I, I would hand it back. Here, catch! <laughs> oh! So yeah, so when that thing <laughs> went, it just created a massive, like boom, 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 and then yeah, it came at you really fast. And you said that the rocks in the pond look just like this one. Yeah. Oh, I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Oh, go, bing. Go, go get another one. I'm grab one of those rocks. Okay. I mean, they're they're just all over the place. But do I need to roll? Yeah, yeah you, roll you, for you the just fish. pick it up. You grab one. Okay, you just pick up a rock. I'm gonna throw it at nobody at the wall. Okay. Ten. Just boop, boop. it skips twice and then just goes into the water. These rocks suck. <laughs> So I got a question about his rock. Mm-hmm. Is it any time it is thrown, or is it only a skipping stone? Try throwing it. <laughs> Dash, I'll turn around and throw it at the wall. Uh, first, I'm going to drop it. Okay. Just drop it and see what happens. Nothing. It just... Poop, poop. Yep, just right. hits. And I'll pick it up, and I'll toss it at the wall. Roll. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> just in case. Uh, what do I add to it, Dex? The cave is closed. It's just anything other than a one. All right, 11. Okay. So uh, so you toss it at the wall, and again, it picks up like a massive amount of speed. Like hangs right here for a second. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, it seems like it almost stretches out, so it's almost like warping. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it hits that back wall and creates a, another massive... Yeah, I mean, How's his uh, wings it. face doing? Hmm? Those oh, they put, them, they put themselves away after a little bit. Yeah. On use. So, so yeah. He, he, so gra- he grabbed the rock back. Okay. Yeah. Totally worth spending almost a whole... Episode. <laughs> Episode on S- Sonic Boom So, Rock. if I look at the crater in the wall, can I guesstimate what its damage would be on a living creature? <laughs> Insight. Is it fast cows? <laughs> oh, da cow! Or you have that body. You could throw it at the body, like just kind of like string it up. Can it <laughs> just see what happens. Done. <laughs> Done. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Just so, do you want to put up, him right then... up against the wall or away from the wall? Nah, dick first. What is your science, like, what is your experiment going to be exactly? I'm just going to grab my cow and leave. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 10. <laughs> I rolled a 10 for intelligence to set him up in a way that I would think I would find out how much damage this thing does. You put him about three feet from the wall and he's just... Pants down. Pants down, just hung no, up. No, no, butthole out first. <laughs> butthole out first. I got a 13 for intelligence to assist. Um, oh, you know, well, you're assisting? Yeah. So then... Oh, I, I don't roll? Yeah, I forget. Yeah, no. you don't roll. Yeah, I know that first one. Okay. So, yeah. So he's just strung up about a couple feet off the wall. Okay. Throw and the rock at him. I'll throw it. All right. I did not get a one. Okay. Uh, this time, since you're actually aiming at a target, it's, it's, a, it's an actual dex attack, so... Okay. Well, I got a 14. Yeah, that'll hit. So, again, it picks up speed and basically... As soon as it hits this guy, it's, it almost like creates a crater in his chest. Which is, and then it just falls. But it looks like his entire chest cavity was like encaved. So 5d20 plus 10. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to call it a 2d20. Ooh. I'm on a shitty perception, so it'll get better. 2d20 question mark. Mm-hmm. All right. I pick up the rock. Okay. Yeah. Don't fuck with me, assholes. <laughs> yeah, I hop on uh, Louis Pascal and okay. head out. Yeah, right. I get on Galactus. So it's sunny outside, and you can literally just ride the rest of the way to uh, Cork? Tan- Tanville. Cork. It's always sunny in Cork, Cork Delphia. 
So takes you about the better part of the rest of the day to get to Cork. And when you ride up, it seems like a, a pretty elegant looking little town. Uh, the walls seem to be made of a very nice white stone of some sort. Of course it's white. So yeah, so it it has uh, metal gates on it. Like it's a pretty normal size little gate. All right. I'll knock on the gate. Uh, so the... Uh, knock, knock, knock. The gate just opens right up and someone steps out and he says, yes, may I help you? Hello. Hi. My name is Dashiell Valentine. And then you see him like just sort of like roll his eyes a little bit. Private investigator. And then he goes, nice to meet you, Dashiell. Did you say private investigator? Yes. That is interesting. Is it? Please come into our village. Oh. Okay. Your friends can come too. Yeah, that's fine. I'll All are it. welcome. Yeah. Hi. No, they're they're actually with me. <clears throat> ah, brother. I want to call you a gnome so bad. I have to fight the urge. Brother Halfling. Yes, brother Halfling. I do not sense your thoughts. Are you not of the collective? Not yet, but I aim to be. Oh. So yeah. So he says, please come in. You are more than welcome. Insight. Then we go in. Nope. I Seems go in. fine. Twenty-six. Seems fine. I'm going to read his mind. Okay. You're just hearing shit ton of different like voices and yeah, thoughts. Yeah, I'm going to focus it. Okay. How did we do this before? Uh, intellectual? It was perception, I think. Is that a, is that a word? <laughs> or was wisdom? No. I said intellectual. You said, is that a word? <laughs> intellectual so, yes, is what I heard. It's two words. Yeah, we'll do perception. Okay. Perception to try and narrow it down. 21. Yeah, so you're narrowing it down a little bit, although it's still tough. Even with, like, narrowing it down, you still hear at least, like, 10 or 11 voices at the same time. Can I try one more time to... You can try. Really hone it in? Sure. 16. So, yeah, no, it's not any narrower than 10 or 11 voices. It's really weird. It's it's unlike the plants that you could narrow down pretty easily because they were pretty single-minded. These are all different minds, but they're all communicating. That's what it sounds like when you're listening to his head. (laughs) (laughs) Mm, Yes. I heard sex. Good start. <laughs> there wasn't anything. In it there. doesn't matter. Heard sex. <laughs> Does it heard sex. <laughs> True. God damn, that was good. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what they say. He's like, would would you like to come in? Now, does he notice my <clears throat> telepathy? Telepathical. I mean, you're presence just inside his telepathic. head. Telepathic. Telepathical. He doesn't Presence. seem to notice. Yeah, so I go in. Okay, so yeah. you head on in. Yeah, I already yeah. went in. Okay. So you go inside. It almost looks um, sort of like a uh, Athenian society would or something. Very fancy, like marble buildings, and almost Roman like, Roman too. A lot of columns. Yeah, yeah, columns and things like that. But a DC kind of building? A DC. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Everyone has olive wreaths. Gre- yeah, yeah, but it's, it's very like well kept. Everyone's oh. just wearing like a cloth it's like very like simple princess cloth. diana world sure i turn to dashel as we walk in go this isn't what our people are normally like well you're the only of your people that you know yeah. usually <laughs> fornicating in the <laughs> road oh, i'll insight that <laughs> uh, 26 you want to roll a deception, deception. Roll a deception. uh i only got an 18 yeah you know he's full of shit he doesn't know what he's talking about i've Dirk. never been to my people <laughs> Dirk. i i You're the only halfling I've ever met. Yes, so why don't you believe me? Because I think you're the only halfling you've ever met. I met my parents and my sister. You sure about that? His sister is number four prostitute in all of (laughs) Mexico City. (laughs) Is that the Mexican version? I don't know. But they're all dead now. Cheech Marin as... (laughs) My Sasha sister is number four prostitute <laughs> in all of Massive City. Yeah, man, I call it Labrador. Because my dog ate it, and I had to pick it out of his shit, man. What? Cheech and Chong? Cheech and Chong. No, I don't know. I haven't seen any <laughs> Never seen any of them. So, yeah. So, when you walk in, that's what you notice. And there's a fair number. I would say you could probably notice at least 100 halflings. Just, you know... Going about their their day in the the city. 
right. jacking off guys left and right, <laughs> as Tristan was saying. As hobbits do. I'm sorry, halflings. Mm. They're hobbits. No, only the stout hobbits are hobbits. They're all hobbits. Hold on. Stout ho- halflings are hobbits. No, they're all hobbits. Lightfoots are not. Then what are lightfoots? We're gypsies. Oh. Gypsy hobbits. Either what, way. Yeah, what is, what is the makeup of the halflings? Are they lightfoot or stout? They all seem to be roughly the same, which is, um, I would say stout. Okay. So, my claim has some credence. What? My, Better water my, you don't know. My people aren't like this. You don't know. Well, he can look at himself and then look at other he things. He sees he's slightly different. I'm Those tall hobbits and, are fat. <laughs> I'm tall and skinny. They're short and fat. You're not tall. You're tall by a I'm, hobbit standard. I'm tall for a halfling standard. Or, yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're half an inch tall. I'm two and days. a half feet, and they're only two and a quarter feet. I invented <laughs> golf. I'm special. I'm <laughs> three feet <laughs> tall, thank you. So anyways, so You're that's what you freak. notice when you walk in. You're a freak of a halfling. And immediately the, the person that lets you in the gate is, is there a reason for your visit? Can I help you in any way? Uh, I turn to him and speak to him in halfling. Okay. If so, he understands halfling. So common? Yeah. It sounds like Roma. I don't do Roma. Halflings don't have their own language, so, do they? Yes, they what do. comes out of, his, of Dirk's mouth is, Start wearing purple, wearing <laughs> purple. <laughs> Start wearing <laughs> purple <laughs> for me now. For me now. <laughs> But I don't know if halflings have their own language, do they? Yes, they, they do. do. Okay, <laughs> fine. You're talking in. It's Roma. They speak in Rush. Do you remember it? Yeah, I learned it from my parents. Yeah, you haven't used it it's in like language. 20 years. You have the vocabulary of a seven year old. <laughs> yeah, you know, very vocabulary? simple halfling words. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Okay. Start I should... wearing purple for <laughs> me. <laughs> so, anyways. Right. You're you know, talking I, like, in I like that. That was good. That was good, guys. This was this was fantastic. And I uh, the, starting our gypsy canon podcast. Now. <laughs> this all, is our gypsy all music. halflings <laughs> and hobbits are Roma. Sure. Yeah. So, what are you saying to him in halfling? Das Vidonia. Zenya on the top. Uh, we're just passing through, looking to spend an evening or two. And he responds with, well, please, you may stay in the guest quarters. Oh, thank you very much. Sure, no problem. And then he just Is there any, back. any oh. fee associated with that? Nope. No fees. Oh, well. Completely free of charge. Meet you later, said hello. Sure. See you later, space <laughs> oh, cowboy. Fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But now everyone does. <laughs> Nobody else understood me. Yeah, we don't know. We don't speak your shit language. Yeah. yeah. So the guy... <laughs> What language is doing? We're arm in arm dancing. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, he just walks back to the gate. All we saw was Vigo Mortensen dick. (laughs) (laughs) When there is trap. So that just happened. Yeah. Well, those two go up and talk to each other, and then the one gnome just walks back to the gate. Hobbit, halfling. They're not known. God damn it! They're all the same to me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make it. Not. I'm gonna make a campaign where it's the same thing. <laughs> but they're two very different races. I know. Hobbits are are above ground, and <coughs> they both cross their arms and kneel and start dancing <laughs> at each other. Halfling, the two halflings talk, and then the one halfling walks away. It and was me. Goes back to the gate. And no, it was not him. Just I walked hobbits. away. No, it was. So yeah, you guys are just standing in the middle of the street. Oh, uh, so yeah, they said that we're. Uh... Able to stay in the guest quarters for free. Cool. A couple Could of we nights. Find out where that is. Is he sure? Leading, is he around. leading us there? Or did he walk? He just walked us in the middle of the town and walked away. Well, you guys, I don't think you guys walked anywhere other than you just walked right inside the gates. So I mean, he's still. Well, I right. figure we're, we're still walking. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm just following him. I'll call back and say, <clears throat> "Hey, comrade." Mm-hmm. He says, "Yep." Yeah. We're at the guest quarters. And he points to literally the first building. Address everyone else. It's that building. Okay. As I open a beer. 
Did you open that with your trumpet? He did. I bugle. <clears throat> to bugle. There are no valves. I'm a little impressed now. <laughs> so yeah. So he points at the first building that you can see. Okay. It almost seems like it's just situated right in the middle of the like a square almost. It's like a circular so walk path <laughs> around it. <laughs> in the Soviet Shire. <laughs> the Soviet, Soviet Shire. Shire. Oh, God. Where were you 20 minutes ago when we were thinking of cork? <laughs> cork. So, yeah. So, that's, that's all that happens. Hustle and bustle still going on around you guys. Everyone seems to have a purpose. And a place that they're going. Doesn't right. seem like anyone's I'll just needlessly mulling about. Go to the inn? Okay. All right. Whatever Dash will do as I'm doing Okay, so you go up to that building, and, um... It's a youth hostel. Mm, no, it's just somebody's house. And the guy goes, oh, are you, are you eerie travelers? Yes. Oh, well, you are more than welcome to stay in my quarters. Who are you? Uh, my name is Remus. But does a name really have a meaning? No. My name's Remus. So his name's Remus, but it doesn't have a meaning. Does it need to have a meaning? Do you need that much meaning in your life? Do you need to know what his name means? So this would be a the inn? Uh, no. Guess this is just, just the designated just, guest quarters for, for right house. now. Do yeah. you live here? Yes. Do you get tax benefits for having all these guests? Oh, we don't have taxes. I, uh, thieves can't. Hive mind. Ah. I, I do that in Thief Can't. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, I see. For some reason, my the way that I speak translates into my thieves can. Mm-hmm. It's flamboyant, over the top, and not really. Ah! <laughs> not like it's not fabulous. It's, it's flamboyant, flamboyant, and over the top. Yeah, of motion, not. So it's fabulous. No, it's not fabulous. I don't do it well. I just do it over the top. Okay, and flamboyantly. So as you're talking to this guy, we're just doing like doing weird <laughs> shit. We're we're. No think... one understands what we're doing. We're yeah. secret language. <laughs> doing like the YMCA yeah, and no, shit. Yeah. So yeah. as you're doing we're, that... We're speaking in Cockney. All of a sudden, uh, Remus sort of clutches at his back and just starts screaming. And then you also can notice that outside it sounds like everybody is screaming. I'll just delete mm. Remus from my list. And he's dead now? Okay. I didn't say he was dead. I Run said he was clutching at his back. He'll, he'll be dead and he's soon. just like, ah, ah, ah. Bro, you have enough green crystals? I got more. And then after about 15 seconds of screaming, well, he like, stops. Well, I'll run over and like grab him. Like, okay. Remus. Remus! And his face is like completely white and Dear his God, eyes Remus. are like shaky. Remus. Are you there? He's like, what? What, what happened? I don't know. You screamed. You, you clutched your back and fell over screaming. I, I, I caught you. He says, it felt like, he says, it felt like someone stabbed me. I want to. This is impossible. I check. And then he immediately nope. bolts out the door. Oh, and, oh, well, all right, he's gone. So, uh, um, therefore, we own the house. And as he bolts, <laughs> squatters right. We are going to call it. So, okay. thanks everybody for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Botch Podcast. Thanks to the people who support us over at Patreon.com slash Botch Podcast. And always leave us a five-star review over at iTunes. Special thanks to John S. Or Jay Swartz, if you will. You dummy. <laughs> Just put the two names together. <laughs> Just, Jason S. <laughs> he said, you said John S. And then he said... Jay, Jay Schwartz. Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> so. Jayon S. Watts. <laughs> so, next time you find yourself in front of a, what is essentially a gnomish halfling dumpster baby, um, be sure to scream botch right before you kill him. And we'll hear you. So you can yeah, steal stone. Yeah. And we'll see you next week, folks. <laughs> and a special shout out to Charles McFall for doing our intro read. Thanks, Charles. You can find him over on the Breaking the Panel podcast on GiantSizeTeamUp.com. Tristan, why did you send me a private message on Twitter? I'm not know how Twitter works. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not Twitter, no. Hey, boo. I but miss you. You copied the post that I put and sent it to me in a fucking private I tried, to, I tried to hit reply. And it made it wouldn't let me send my... And so you hit the message, right? <laughs> and then it says, search people. So I hit bot. So you just... You, well, you, you, you posted something and then you just sent it back to him. You just sent him his own post. Yes. <laughs>